Let's see how to update your PHP version using cPanel. If you have a website with a content management system like WordPress, your server is definitely running PHP in the background. PHP has new versions published almost every year, so to make your website safe and fast, and also to use a supported version of PHP, you need to regularly update this. I'm going to put the link to this Wikipedia page below the video so that you can easily check out which PHP version is actually supported. In a shared hosting environment such as Bluehost, HostGator or GoDaddy, you need to do this PHP upgrade manually. It's a pretty easy and straightforward process, but let me show you how to do that in your cPanel and also what precautions you should take to make this process safe. At the very first step, I recommend you to back up your website. Although simply changing the PHP version might not result in any loss of data, but you just never know. And having a backup of your website before any major changes is always a good idea anyways. So go ahead and download your theme files and media uploads and also make a backup copy of your database. If you don't know how to do that, I'm soon going to publish a new video on this topic. Then go ahead and make sure that your WordPress, your theme and all your plugins are updated to the latest version. Once you've backed up and upgraded your website, now it's time to actually update your PHP version. To do that, go ahead and log into your cPanel. You can easily check your PHP version here. In Bluehost you find it on the left sidebar here, at the versions you see I'm running 7.0. In HostGator you need to scroll down and click on server information, then at PHP version you see that I'm running 5.4 currently, which is a pretty outdated version, so it definitely needs to be upgraded. To actually upgrade or update your PHP version, go back to your cPanel and search for PHP using Ctrl F or Command F on Macs. Look for something like PHP config or PHP versions. In a Bluehost account this is called PHP config, at HostGator it's PHP selector. Go ahead and hit that button and you will be redirected to the PHP version selector page. Here simply go ahead and select the version you want to upgrade to. You can select the latest release, but if you're upgrading a major version, let's say from 5 to 7, it might be a good idea to just upgrade one release, in this case selecting 7.0. This way you can make sure that your website is running ok on the latest major version. So go ahead, select the version you want to use and hit save or update. This time, as I'm already using 7.0 in my Bluehost account, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to 7.1. And that's it, you've updated your PHP version on your cPanel. What's left is to check if all your websites are running smoothly with the new version of PHP. To do that, do the following steps with each and every website or domain that you have on that server. First, simply reload your website hitting F5 or enter in the address bar. Look for anything that might not work properly or look the same as before. Then go ahead and check one page on your website like blog post to see if it renders properly and without any errors. If your WordPress website uses custom post types, like recipes in my case, then go ahead and check one of those as well. Then finally log into your admin dashboard and see if everything is fine. As a very last step, you should give extra attention to your website in the next couple of days to see if it works as expected. If everything went fine and your website works just as it did before, you're done with the PHP upgrading process and congratulations. But if you find any suspicious behavior, like your website not rendering properly or even error messages, then you can always revert back to the last stable version of PHP the same way as you did it with the upgrade. In this case though, you might want to go ahead and find the actual problem so you can fix it. In case your website is not running properly on a newer version of PHP, it's usually because of your theme or one of your plugins. But this is a whole new topic and a good idea for another video. Anyways, I hope I could help you update your PHP version via cPanel. If so, please hit the like button and consider subscribing, you're helping me a lot just by doing that. And thank you for watching.